What up, YouTube? Uh, so I got some uh, new stuff in the mail recently during the quarantine. I thought I would do a little uh, video of some of the stuff I grabbed uh, that came in the mail, obviously staying at home. So uh, to begin with, let's start with uh, Ultraman X. It came from Mill Creek. So this is the slip cover. And then here's what the Blu-ray looks like. Ultraman X. So this goes with the rest of the Mill Creek Ultraman releases, which I have all of them up to date. So pretty cool release. And then from Vinegar Syndrome, I got, well first, this one isn't a Vinegar Syndrome release, but it came from Vinegar Syndrome. It's the McPherson tape. This is an American Genre Film Archive, if it focuses, and Bleeding Skull release. But Vinegar Syndrome did the slip cover for this, which is a cool like wraparound slip. Real sturdy, just like the regular Vinegar Syndrome slip covers. And then the Blu-ray UFO Abduction. I switched the um, sleeve around already. In the back, if anyone wants to pause. So it says the world's first found footage horror movie, but this film came out in 89, and Cannibal Holocaust was 1980. So Cannibal Holocaust predates this film by nine years so technically this isn't the first found footage horror film but I still am interested in watching this one because I love found footage films and then <clears throat> from actual vinegar syndrome I got pale blood the slip cover in the dead of night souls come alive it's a nice wraparound slip And then I switched the artwork on this one already, an erotic vampire thriller. In the back, if anyone wants to pause for special features. 1990, 93 minutes. And then... Dolly Dearest, this is the big one everyone was waiting for. Finally here. This one's a cool looking slip. And I switched to this artwork. A doll with a bad attitude. I like the purple spine. And then the back again, if anyone wants to pause for the special features. 1991, 94 minutes. And then the big one from Vinegar Syndrome, the one that I've been waiting for. The Forgotten Gialli Box Set Volume 1. This is a beautiful release. This is gorgeous. I love this. Most of uh, Vinegar Syndrome's releases are beautiful though, so. Yeah, this thing is out of this world. And then, oh. So there's the killer is one of 13. Special features. This is seventy three ninety five minutes. And then 
great title on this one. Police are blundering in the dark. Such a good Gialli title. This one's 75, 87 minutes. And then we have finally trauma. A chill to remember. Seventy-eight, eighty-seven minutes. Yeah, so these are all forgotten Gialli, I guess. Uh, so I haven't seen any of them, but I'm really excited. I'm a huge Giallo fan, and I uh, definitely love Vinegar Syndrome, so I'm excited to check a lot of these out. And then I got some Severin films in the mail. These came from Diabolic DVD. Actually, this one came from Diabolic, and then the next one came from Unobstructed View. But I got the Hemisphere of Horrors box set which was at a print for a while, I believe, and then um, Diabolic got this back in, so I snagged it right away, because this has been on my radar for a while, but I've never been able to get it. So I'm very excited to get my hands on a copy of this. What is it, 3062 of 3500? I believe they had a couple more back in stock, but I don't know what their stock is like right now so and i love these multicolored spines this is really cool so i haven't checked any of these out yet but i definitely wanted to get this because it came with the black cat and the torture chamber of dr sadism which i believe the only way to get those two was with the box set so and then finally from severin this was from unobstructed view i got the peanut butter solution which is part of their severin kids line I already watched this, it's great. I'm um, from Canada, obviously, so this was a staple growing up in the 80s in Canada. Um, very Canadian, very weird, this movie. I've already watched the release and it's super weird, this movie, but it's great. It definitely brought me back to my childhood. Um, it's cool, it's like a, definitely like a benchmark Canadian thriller horror kids film so cool that severin's releasing these like kids movies i, re I reversed the artwork on this as well um there are two cuts on it so there's the canadian release and then the extended u.s theatrical release which has three extra minutes i believe i haven't watched that one yet but um really cool good um, um special features and stuff so yeah Definitely some cool pickups I got recently. Uh, I got uh, some more Severin stuff coming in the mail. I got that Al Adamson box set and uh, I pre-ordered the Strange Vice of Miss Ward and uh, the one that just got released today, I believe, that uh, Lindsay Giallo box set. So once those come in, I'll do another update video. But until then, thanks for watching.